Hello everyone, this is uh, Antonio from uh, Random Stuff channel and I'm back with this uh, quick video on my LG V30 which now takes on the name of LG V30 Thin Q. So there's been some improvements uh, in the update uh, to the camera, uh, to the camera's AI, uh, which is pretty cool, similar to the new LG G7. Now, if I um, if I quickly go into the settings and just show you, the settings, by the way, has been redesigned. I believe it looks a lot nicer and um, compact just looks as if I can get to everything much quicker than before. So if I go to system and then about phone, we look at the software info on Android version 8.0. The version um, of, uh, of, of the actual 8.0, I grabbed it from the links below. I've been waiting for um, quite a while for the update to uh, Oreo 8.0 um, as I was stuck on 7.1 and um, uh, it, was quite it, it was quite frustrating because uh, I knew that the uh, the actual file, the KDZ file was available. I knew it was a large, almost three gig file, but I, um, I was just waiting for uh, the OTA so that I could get it over the air, but that didn't happen and uh, frustratingly enough, I um, I decided uh, last night to just uh, you know go on to the XDA forums and and get it, which I have, and it was a very smooth uh, upgrade. So if you if you have um, uh, an LG V30 like myself in the UK, uh, a dual SIM one, the V30 Plus, the H930DS, the actual uh, name of the device changes uh, as you can see below in the description. But uh, overall, you know, it was uh, very quick, uh, a lot easier than I thought. I didn't have to do any, I didn't have to download any apps or anything like that. I just needed to upgrade and uh, update. I'm going to include um, some uh, video, maybe it's not the best video in the world, just to show you roughly what I did. Uh, as I say, it's not great uh, video quality, but here goes just for the reference and for the record of uh, how I actually did it. So if, we, if you're in the UK, and you want to uh, uh, upgrade, you probably can. You're not going to lose any of your bands or anything like that. For me, it's worked absolutely fine. If you want to risk it, you can. If not, just stay on seven and uh, you should be fine and just wait for the OTA, which will probably never happen. Uh, so that's that. So here's the video of the bits and pieces.
Okay, so now that I've um, rebooted the uh, the system, it was actually quite quick and uh, painless. The new notification styles at the bottom. Window animation scale and the other animations have been left at 0.5. So it's a true upgrade, gone from 7.1 to 8.0. Sorry, the quality of the video hasn't been fantastic, but as you can see, um, it has upgraded. Uh, upgraded, as you can see, it has upgraded without any problems, and um, quite happy. So I'll. Um, I'll make a video if there's any issues uh, or an update of how I get on. Thanks for watching everyone, until the next one, take care, cheers, bye.